will dry up like a raisin if you don't drink eight glasses of water a day. No, it just makes me pee more. It doesn't stick. Why don't you go eat your apple and keep your dock away? I just swallowed my gum. Now it's gonna be in my stomach for seven years. Have you been so overwhelmed by all these fad diets and don't know what they mean and what you're supposed to eat? Hello, I'm just here to give you this. What's that, hon? I read that it was customary to bring sugar to the new neighbor's house. You might have misunderstood that. We should just take it. I mean, it's free sugar. Lauren will eat it all and get cavities and be all hot. She should just brush her teeth after she eats it and she'll be fine. Like, it's not going to cause her to be hyper. It might convert to energy a little quicker uh, because it doesn't have to break down as much like a whole grain. But in the end, if you have too much energy, it's gonna be stored in the cells, so. Oh, really? Then why does Whitney get the cloudy brain every time she goes on one of these low-carb diets? And according to you, we could just magically eat cardboard and turn it into energy. That's not what I said, Mom. And low-carb diets will force you, if they're low enough, into ketosis. And it's, going, it's an alternate pathway that's going to start breaking down more fat and producing ketones, which are gonna be used for energy as opposed to glucose. So yes, this can give you some short-term brain fog. What are you doing with that young lady? Put it back in the candy jar. <sighs> Mom, she's just eating chocolate. Well, that's gonna give her acne. Are you saying it won't, smarty pants? Dietary acne was a thought a long time ago, then it wasn't. Now it kinda is again. And it could be the milk, sugar, and fat uh, that are causing it, but it's probably more along the lines of hormonal and clogged pores, bacteria in the skin. I mean, most of the studies have been like association, not causation, so. Can you explain how something like a cheeseburger turns into energy for the cell? That doesn't make any sense to me. And after that, can you please explain to me what a cheeseburger is? Um, okay, alien neighbor, I'll let my mom explain that to you. Lauren and I will go to my lab. First, let's go over the big picture of cellular respiration. So we eat the cheeseburger. The digestive system will break it down into minerals, vitamins, and then the macronutrients, which are fats, proteins, carbohydrates. These materials will absorb into the bloodstream, mostly through the small intestine. Let's check in with Oregon City and see how digestion works first. Attention, organ systems. Lauren is eating. I repeat, Lauren is eating. All hands on deck. The esophagus delivered the masticated cheeseburger via peristalsis to the stomach. The stomach continued to break down the cheeseburger via chemical and mechanical digestion into chyme, a mixture of liquefied cheeseburger, gastric juices and enzymes. Yummy. The chyme passed into the intestine via the pyloric sphincter. Wow, thanks for the notice. Okay, I got this time. I got some digestive enzymes to go ahead and start working on this. But liver, I'm gonna need some bile because there's a lot of fat in this burger. And pancreas, I'm gonna need some of your best digestive enzymes. You always do the best. Thank you so much. I'm sending bile through the common bile duct now. If we need more, gallbladder has a bunch stored for me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and send all of the absorbable macronutrients, vitamins, minerals, and such to the liver for processing. All right, thanks guys. I will sort through everything, process things, get rid of the toxins, and when it's all good, I'll send it back to the blood. Thank you, organ systems. So now we have these glucose molecules. Lauren had asked, how do those molecules turn into the energy currency of the cell, which is known as ATP? for short. This is a term for adenosine triphosphate, meaning it has three phosphates on it, an adenosine. The bonds between the phosphates will release energy when they're broken that drives reactions that wouldn't happen without it, endothermic reactions. Let's call it ATP for short. Here's what it looks like. 
You have adenosine and three phosphates in a chain that store energy in these bonds right here. Now let me simplify it for you. A, T for tri, which means three, like a tricycle, has three wheels, but in this case it has three phosphates. The overall chemical formula for cellular respiration is as follows. C6H12O6 plus 6O2 yields 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus ATP. This might look confusing, but it's not, I promise. The first compound is glucose, a six carbon ringed molecule. The body converted the cheeseburger into glucose, and it would do the same if you ate a jelly bean, bomb bomb bit bops, cup of sugar, pasta, whatever. So you ate food that turned to glucose. But what else do you bring into your body? Oxygen. This is a metabolic pathway. On the left is what is consumed or taken in by the body in this case. When you see this arrow, that means yields or the results are. And what do you breathe out of your lungs? Carbon dioxide, the same stuff that makes bubbles in soda. So you know what H2O is? So water is made during the breakdown of the sugar and here's ATP, which is energy. So you eat food that converts to sugar or you could say glucose. You breathe in oxygen and then you exhale carbon dioxide as waste. You create energy and water, but not enough water to fit your needs. So you still need to drink water, but maybe not the eight glasses that Grandma Boomer said Lauren needed. There are many factors that go into how much water you should drink per day. Like if you exercise or eat foods that contain a lot of water, the environment can have effects uh, on your overall health and, and so on. As long as you rarely feel thirsty and your urine is either colorless or very pale yellow, probably on the right track. So we ate the cheeseburger and now the glucose molecules are floating in the bloodstream. Pancreas, tell them how you help out here. If Lauren absorbs too much sugar, my beta cells will analyze the levels and release insulin. The insulin will guide the extra glucose in the bloodstream into the cell. Thanks, pancreas. So now we have glucose in the cell. And here's what happens next. The first step is glycolysis. We have to break down the six carbon glucose molecule into two three carbon molecules of pyruvate or pyruvic acid. This takes 10 biochemical reactions. Cellular respiration's easy, right? ATP is energy, it's used like money in the cell. Whitney, I think you're sniffling. Did you get infected with something? You are just not healthy trying to do low carb and vegan and all that. You need to take care of yourself. I'm gonna make you some comfort food. Get some <coughs> meat on your bones. I'm fine. This is so nice. There's so many homes here for me. I think I'm gonna take this one. It has a lot of building blocks to make more of me. Well, I'm reading a study right now that says you should not do low carb diets without your doctor's advice. Eating a diet higher in animal fats and proteins can increase the risk of some cancers and heart disease. <coughs> I'm vegan. So no animal fats for me. I'm not saying that you can't be low carbon vegan. You can, but you don't know what you're doing. So you're probably gonna get a vitamin deficiency or a mineral deficiency. You don't know what you're doing. So you need to get with a doctor and get a nutrition plan. So what are we supposed to be eating to be healthy? <coughs> I consume eat pots. Oh, that sounds delicious, but no. According to the USDA guidelines of 2020 to 2025, for Americans, you should be eating vegetables of all kinds, a rainbow from beets to broccoli, and whole fruit, grains, half of that should be whole grains, and dairy, although some people do have exceptions, but it's in the guidelines for like fat-free or low-fat milk, uh, yogurt, cheese, um, proteins such as lean meats, poultry, eggs, um, seafood, beans, seeds, soy, nuts. I mean, I eat all that because I'm vegan. You also sneak cheeseburgers, so watch it, kidlet. And also vegetable oils and the oils in seafood and in nuts. What about my glass of wine at Bridge Club? I do it once a week. 
It's probably fine, but drinking less is better. Uh, you should limit alcohol. And avoid foods that have added sugars or saturated fat or salt. Um, you should always like eat nutrient dense foods, make every bite count and benefit the body. And all eat pods are nutrient dense. I still don't want one. Explain nutrient dense, please. Okay, I'm about to cook fish. Do I use vegetable oil or do I use butter? Butter, baby. Okay, wrong because butter is not doing anything for you, but the vegetable oil does. All right, here's another one. Do you choose low fat yogurt with some fruit added to it? Or do you choose full fat yogurt with added sugars? But that plain low fat stuff does not taste good. Why are you trying to set us up, hon? So you would have chosen the refined sugar one instead of the one with the real fruit that has fiber and other nutrients you need, see? So how many calories should we eat per day? That varies with the age, gender, height, weight, and level of activity, but for example, mine is 1,800 a day. And what activity level did you claim? Well, not sedentary, if that's what you're trying to insinuate, but also the USDA guidelines say like 20 to 35% should be fat and the good fats, uh, not saturated, and uh, 45 to 65% carbs, the rest are proteins. I must say that your earthling sugar is quite delicious. Our eat pods are boring compared to this. I might have to try the earthling cheeseburger next. It sounds delightful. You just ate that whole thing of brown sugar. <sighs> Not quite. There's a few grains left. Would you like to <coughs> I'll pass. Oh, look. You seem to be infected with my former pet virus, Gina. Hello, Gina. Oh, I'm good. It's nice and warm, but not too hot. And I have a lot of friends in here that are making more friends. I love this, Mommy. Go away. I hope you enjoyed the fifth episode of Dr. Bond's World. Join us next time for Home Alone, Not in This Lifetime. We'll discuss beneficial microorganisms that live on and within our bodies and what they do for us. Will Whitney kick the virus? We'll tackle the best practices to battle bad germs and bump on Bip Bop's master plan is uncovered. Oh no! <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss an episode. The episodes will be released on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central.